How's it going guys? I got a request for a uh, t another tutorial on how to hook up V-Ridge or RiffCat, which is a program that allows you to hook up your phone VR to your Steam and be able to use it as a, uh, you know, your your Gear VR or your Google Cardboard setups with uh, Steam and you can play games in VR. Obviously this will have no type of uh, just, um, hands or anything like that, unless you got like Nolo or whatever you can add on top is the thing you can buy to attach to your um, VR's headsets to give you hands and stuff. But anyways, uh, this is a t this is going to be a quick tutorial on two different ways to do this um, because you got people out there like me. Uh, I I have my first VR setup was just the Samsung Gear VR, and I the, the second one, the, the black one, not the white one, uh, and it had has a uh, port in there. That is, there's no way to get to your U, your USB port, like it has to be plugged in. And with that, this this is why I'm showing you two different reasons. I mean, two two different ways to do this. Because if you only have Samsung Gear VR, then I know how whenever you plug your phone in, it usually opens up the Oculus, and you're like, dang it, how the heck do I bypass this? I can't do it. And so that this is the way you're gonna do that for Samsung Gear VR. You're gonna get Sideload. Sideload is an app that you can find in the Google Play Store. Um, you're gonna go ahead and just install that. This is for people with with Gear VR, guys, and it, and it does work for this uh, S8 Plus. I have the S8 Plus, and you're gonna let that load up, and you're gonna go in there, and you're gonna to have to install V Ridge 2.0. There's two versions right now of uh, V Ridge. You got the the one. I'm not sure what it's called, the 1.0 or whatever, but um, you need to use the 2.0. Everything Riftcat and V Ridge needs to be 2.0. I'm going to put the link in the description and the way to make sure you're doing the right one, don't go to the RiffCat page because they still don't have the 2.0 on that one yet. Um, and then do the install. Take the, the link in the description. It's actually a blog for RiffCat. And um, these, this company has been pretty helpful. Like I've been following them since I found out about this a while ago and then they, they've they uh, given some good feedback and everything. So you're going to go for, this is for, um, the first one I'm showing you here is for um, people with Gear VR. You're going to go to the side load and you're going to type in V Ridge. All right. And see how there's multiple versions, like I was telling you. This is what you're also going to see in the Google Play Store for people who are not using uh, Gear VRs. Um, you're going to see multiple versions of V Ridge and, uh, and then as well as RiffCat. But make sure you choose that one that's blue and white, that one there that is. Uh, it says 2.0 beta. If it's any other other ones, then they're, they're okay, but it's just totally different interface. And the 2.0 is just way better in multiple ways. So, my phone keeps going on sleep because I have it on a uh, short timer. But anyways, um, anyways, you're gonna have to get this for your phone. And I'm gonna go ahead and press it. I should have it still installed. Well, no, I don't, because now I don't use Gear VR anymore. I got myself a um, this thing's called Merge. It's a it's a nice um, headset. It's just like a, a regular phone attachment VR thing, but it but it has the open available ports for me to be able to plug in my USB. Because it's just better. I, I, whenever you're doing this, I highly recommend that you're you're you can do this wirelessly, but you can also do this with a USB, which I highly recommend because it just sends a better amount of data to your phone and the transferring between whatever you're playing because you don't want any kind of delay with the best quality that you can get in your VR. That, that's the most annoying thing and this is what's the big difference about it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you when, it, where the game, when it's running. For your computer you need to go ahead and download RiffCat. For phone it's V-Ridge. Remember that. So for me since I use the um, the uh, you know headset that's not uh, Gear VR anymore I just open up V-Ridge like this. So it's loading right now, and this is what you're going to see. And uh, right now it's just doing a wireless. Uh, well, well, actually, I, I, I haven't opened up RiffCat yet. Um, this is just my mirror screen, but this is what you would see on your uh, phone here. It's pretty cool. You can actually look around. They got a nice little thing. This is this is what they don't have in the first version of RiffCat too. So it's pretty cool to see how well your phone adjusts to it, and you can you know see your ability. So it already automatically. Um, connected. So what I was really trying to do, I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to show you what it looks like when you first open it up. This is what you see when you first open it up. And it's like, hey, hey, here's your phone. And yes, you should have it on the same wireless um, 
server, your router or whatever, to make sure it's getting the best connection wirelessly. But as I said, I recommend that you use the USB because USB, you can just get a better connection. And remember, this is important. If you're doing USB, you have to, like it says at the bottom right here, it's all very self-explanatory. Um, you want to go ahead and make sure you are tethering. So be wireless, you know, whatever wireless connection that you need to do with your phone, because it's going to have to be tethered through your phone to do this uh, USB sending, because it, it won't just plug in while you're using, I guess, the Ethernet or whatever, but hopefully you have a good enough Wi-Fi to uh, do it. And mine's been just fine. Mine's been doing it really great. Um, so, and, and not just that. So whenever I press play and I press yes right here and it connects, really cool thing about the new, the new uh, 2.0 version they got going on here. Um, it says play Steam VR and it's going to open up my Steam VR and say if you were to have some sticks or something, this looks like there's some settings, but I haven't, I don't have any sticks or nothing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and press play. And this is what makes it so much better. So, so much better than the last version. While you're streaming, whoops, <laughs> that, <laughs> that is a very first, I've never had this crash on me, but I guess I, I think because I'm mirroring that it's really messing this up. I'm going to restart this real quick. I reconnected. That was quick. See, that was my first time, and there you go. I think I'm going to have to reopen the uh, Steam, though, because me using this mirroring thing so I can show you what I'm doing, what my phone's doing, it seems it kind of interferes with this process, obviously, because I'm just doing Wi-Fi right now. Uh, I just want to show you this. Um, press play again. Hopefully everything works. I did a minute ago. Unresponsive. Come on. You were working before. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. I am in um, Steam VR, and obviously the connection is low, and this is what I was talking about, the best thing. Uh, you can adjust your stream quality while you're streaming. Insane, dude. That is the best thing ever. So when I'm plugged in USB, I put that baby on extreme, and it makes everything really nice and very crisp, and it's like the best image I've seen in VR so far. Um, and there's a big delay going on with the Wi-Fi, obviously, on this mirroring thing, just to show you that it does work. It freaking does work. And this is really awesome, dude. I've been able to experience a lot of fun things in VR. And uh, a lot of my videos are in when I'm playing uh, uh, v, uh, sorry, uh, VR chat are not in um, this, uh, some, some videos I'm working on right now, because uh, it is kind of... <laughs> Like, some, some games, like, you know, you can play a game for eight hours or whatever, but sometimes being in VR is just, you know, it gets really uh, straining on the on your eyeballs. So, uh, <laughs> you know, take take that into to, uh, consideration whenever you're doing all this. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the stream here, just showing you guys that it all works and stuff, and this is how you do it. It's very easy, straightforward, um, nothing much to it. Like, it's just really awesome to see that this is a technology that we can do already and and it's funny because I, apparently i mean i try to follow as much vr development as i can but they there's not much wi wireless setups for us for um vr like this there's really not and, and even the wireless mode isn't all that bad either like it's really it's really good definitely the adjustable thing i mean if you're going to play a racing game this is perfect dude you don't even need you don't have to have to be able to move through game space to have to play a racing game or you know war thunder or, or whatever you just need to be able to, you know turn turn your head you know to be able to see those mirrors or whatever because you're sitting stationary um and for instance like when i'm playing um vr chat or or whatever i use my xbox controller like you can just use your controller in there and uh you can set it to sit or stand mode whatever you know it's pretty awesome stuff so this is a, a very good way to do and you see how uh it says unlimited time right here. Whenever you first get it, I i don't know what's going on, but I've never been charged. Uh, I've had the full version the whole time. See right here? Don't don't get intimidated by that, because I don't know if they're actually, because it's still in beta, I don't know if they're being legit about this right now. Um, maybe they're waiting for it to fully come out or whatever, but the whole time from the last version to this version, maybe it's because I linked up with them on Facebook. Who knows? Uh, cause it is my, my account is on there and they see, I guess I can see my usage or whatever, but they, they must've given me a limited time. Uh, so I haven't, I have yet to pay for this, but, uh, and hopefully that happens to you. Just, uh, don't get deterred about the payment. Cause dude, that's, what is that compared to, you know, $300 or whatever, you know, like do it, do it. Yeah. Like this is great. Um, anyways, uh, so yeah, guys, if you, if you need any help, I'm going to put these uh, links in the description. Pretty self-explanatory. And like it says, it talks about the no-low wire and all this stuff. If you guys want to get that, there is a set 
to um, hook up your uh, like attach to your Google Glass. I mean your Google um, box or whatever, man. Like uh, I gotta find it, but it's no motion tracker thing. It it tries to pretty much mimic the uh, stuff you need to be able to move through game space, you know, like Vive and stuff. But it's a lot of stuff. I I, I don't know if I'd buy, buy that. I'd rather just buy a whole o Oculus or something like that. Anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching, and uh, leave a comment or thumbs up, thumbs down, share with your friends if they need any more help with this um, or any other tutorials you guys can think of. Um, I'm not, I don't do much other technical stuff, really, but if, if you see there's anything that I play or whatever that you guys need a little bit of help on, I, I know quite a bit about those things. <laughs> uh, so just uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you later.